Camp Washington is an industrial neighborhood located west of the University of Cincinnati in the Mill Creek Valley. Commercial activity in the neighborhood is centered on Hopple Street, where it intersects with Coleraine Avenue. Industrial operations are located along Spring Grove Avenue and scattered throughout the otherwise residential sections. These operations have historically been dominated by meatpacking, metalworking, and machining. Most of the land in Camp Washington, however, is used for transportation, the train yard west of Spring Grove Avenue, and the Mill Creek Expressway. We will trace the histories of industry and movement through Camp Washington and find how these histories have contributed to the neighborhood's present-day urban form. Let's start with the history of industry and freight rail. Camp Washington's rail yard is bound by the Mill Creek to the west and the neighborhood's street fabric to the east. The first rail line came through in the 1860s, and some of Cincinnati's meatpacking firms started moving in. At this time, Cincinnati's slaughterhouses and stockyards were largely concentrated in Brighton and along the Deer Creek Valley, while meatpacking was primarily located along the Ohio River front and the Miami Erie Canal. The Union Stockyard Company assembled land between the rail yard and Spring Grove Avenue in 1873 to consolidate various concerns, and by the mid-1880s, almost all slaughterhouse, meatpacking, and processing in Cincinnati had concentrated there. Though almost all of these firms have since moved or closed, their legacy lives on at the Stockyard Cafe. In the 1890s, Camp Washington's industrial base began to diversify into soap products, foundries, metalworking, and machining. This trend continued into the first decades of the 20th century. William Powell Company and Andrew Jurgens, now Cow, are products of this shift in Camp Washington's manufacturing base that still operate to this day. Beginning in the 1930s and 40s, Many industrial firms in the neighborhood began closing or moving to newer facilities further up the Mill Creek. Before this trend started, Camp Washington was contributing nearly one quarter of Cincinnati's earnings tax revenue. The rail yard, as we see, was still expanding and the Mill Creek was moved west to accommodate. The four decades following World War II saw a slight decline in manufacturing base but an expanding rail yard. By 1996, the rail yard's easternmost portions were removed for parking beside and behind buildings along Spring Grove Avenue. It is in the 21st century that Camp Washington's last major meatpacking concern, Cons Meats, closed for good. Today, the neighborhood still boasts many active industrial firms as well as one of the country's larger rail yards. Now let's take a look at how transportation corridors shaped Camp Washington. The Mill Creek already existed as a transportation route, but Coleraine Avenue, later Route 27, was the first roadway laid out in what would be known as Camp Washington. The Miami Erie Canal was built to carry freight in 1827. By 1869, Spring Grove Avenue connected to Spring Grove Cemetery and a railroad was established. Hopple Street also offered indirect east-west connections. The Miami Erie Canal had been totally eclipsed by rail before the turn of the century, and east-west connections were improved when Dick Smith Avenue connected Hopple Street to the east. By 1935, the canal had been paved for Central Parkway, but Coleraine Avenue was still the main thoroughfare. Viaducts at Hopple Street and Harrison McMillan made passage over the rail yard easier, 
the Western Hills Viaduct became another east-west thoroughfare. The biggest change came when the Mill Creek Expressway was extended through Camp Washington, dislocating Colerain Avenue, disconnecting many east-west connecting streets, and fully dominating as the north-south transportation corridor. When the Mill Creek Expressway, I-75, was extended south from Cumminsville in the early 1960s, it severed Colerain Avenue Route 27 here on the northern end. And here on the southern end, rendering what was once the Mill Creek Valley's primary thoroughfare an urban backwater. The rail yard continued to expand into the 21st century, and I-75, as well as the two viaducts, have become increasingly important to commuters. As Colerain Avenue in Camp Washington, Route 27, was severed on either end by the Mill Creek Expressway as it was extended south towards Kentucky from Cumminsville in 1963, it was also being replaced by the Mill Creek Expressway as the primary north-south thoroughfare through the Mill Creek Valley. Its interchange with Hopple Street and the consolidation of Martin Luther King Drive over the following two decades as an east-west connector compounded with suburban residential growth in the western hills and institutional job growth in Uptown to foster the auto-oriented district we see today at Hopple Street. By analyzing the developmental history of Camp Washington, we have shed some light on its urban form in the present. The rail yard grew with the stockyards and still serves an important role for industrial firms today. Colerain Avenue is built like a business district, but feels like a wide alleyway because of the expressway. And Hopple Street feels like an expressway due to interchange access and the consolidation of Martin Luther King Drive as an uptown arterial. Only time will tell how the urban fabric of Camp Washington will evolve in the future.